Don't get too many neutrals in here in China when uh, there's a big badminton event in town. It is a, a real family affair. And what a match we've just finished. Two hours on court. Beckham Lee could hardly walk, but they're in the semis. Now then, time for some men's doubles action. Lu and O oh of China against Kang and Seo of Korea, and there's only a couple of places that splits these two pairs in the rankings. Here's how the draw has worked out, and we will see that other uh, semi-final, Liang and Wang against Alfie and Ardiento in this opening session a little later on. But it's the top semi we are concentrating on first. seater arena this it was finished just a few years ago part of a huge complex it also features a swimming center and a, a stadium that hosts football and athletics but badminton is center stage here this week as we await the arrival of Liu Yu Chen and Oshuan Yi officials are on court so the players shouldn't be far behind You see the head to head, it's 3 1 in Kang and Seo's favour. Yeah. All four meetings actually have been this year. Yeah. Lumino yeah. won the last one at the Asian Black. Games Side round of 16 so, in October. Liu Chen, who's 28 years of age now, has been at number one in the rankings with uh, Liu Jun He. That was uh, some while back. Best with Oshuan Yi is uh, eight in the world. Olympic silver in uh, Tokyo, World Champions 2018. The only win this year was the high-low open in uh, Saarbrücken in November. And they have won this title twice, or well, Lou has, 2018 and 2022. And there are their results. Very comfortable win 
yesterday against uh, Hoki and Kobayashi. And on the other side of the net, Hang Ming Hyuk and Seo Sun Jae. Six in the world. They have been up at number four, which was as recently as August of this year. And of course, they won the world championships in Copenhagen a few months ago when they beat Astra, Astrup and Erasmussen in three games in the final. Only won their first world tour title last year in Korea in Super 500. As we look at the left handed Seo Sun Jae. This year they've taken down the Malaysian Masters in May and Ready also the Australian play. Open to go with that World Championship. And of course, Seo is also World Mixed Doubles Champion too. There are their results so far. Lost a, a real epic against Astrup and Rasmussen, but won the next two. Tough one to call this, Dean. Yeah, a little bit, but um, I think uh, Liu and O oh are the favourites, even though they're behind in the head-to-heads. They won in Asian Games here in this city in um, rather slow playing conditions, and that's what we've got here as well. Whilst the three times that Kang and Siu has won, they're, they're, they're not bad in, in slow playing conditions. I just feel that uh, Liu and U are perhaps even better. Um, the three times that Kang and Siu has won has been in uh, much faster playing conditions. Both players played well in this tournament. Like you mentioned, the Koreans. Mm. Narrow loss to the Danes in the first round, but since then, quite convincing. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Liu Yu Cheng and Ao Xuan Ki, China. And on my left, Kan Min Ho and Xiao Xiong Che, Korea. Liu Yu Chen serve to Xiao Chung Jie. Love all. Play. So here we go then. This first men's doubles semi final. Obviously, the crowd are going to get right behind uh, wow. Luno here. Service yeah. over. One all. By uh, Seal getting it below Three, the tape one. to uh, Ushan Yi, and uh, that's one of the key elements when you're playing against Liu and U. Get it below the tape, especially uh, yeah. <laughs> both players actually. But but if you get it below the tape to uh, Ushan Yi, there's some uh, possibilities. Whilst for Liu, it's basically a so must because. 
He's amazing three. from um, above the uh, top of the tape. Not um, as mobile as he in his heydays with uh, Lee Junhui, but uh, still very, very strong. And uh, they like to play in this formation here with Liu as the uh, front court player and always the back court player. Basically, um, sort of like uh, mixed doubles style adapted to men's doubles. You can see that normally we would probably see the front court player Seven move out to cover that one. Four. That's not the case here. I think certainly further evidence in the first few points here of how slow the conditions are. Yeah. Also on the way I saw it, they elected Seven to start on the near side here, playing three, up against the drift four. in the opening game here, where oh. I think the plan is that um, in an eventual third game, they will finish on the side where they play with the drift, where it's a little bit easier to put the shuttle away in the, the attack. Well, the Koreans, they have a, a really solid defense, um, which helps them in... Um, in all kinds of uh, playing conditions, of course, if it's Four. super windy all. and fast shuttles, um, it becomes difficult to play um, a more uh, patient playing style. Um, but the slow playing conditions that are here in this arena is um, helping Wu Xunyi and uh, Liu Chen so that they can, in my opinion, survive a bit longer. In, in their defense when they're defending Seven against the Koreans. Five, um, four. And they're really uh, strong physically in terms of attacking uh, the two Chinese players. So that's why I, uh, I think that um, they must be considered the favorites um, in this match. But it's not at all a foregone conclusion in any way. Six, four. Yeah, I mean, home court advantage, obviously. Conditions probably favoring them more, but they've lost three out of four yeah. to the Korean pair. They've started well. Yeah, but, but I would not be surprised at all to see the Koreans uh, take um, the first four. game here. That wouldn't uh, change a lot in my, um, in my overall um, expectations. Because of that, because because play of the from that end, yeah. yeah. Great service return by Oshan Yi and super follow up by uh, Liu. Service over. Five, seven. Hey. Six, seven.
Well, they had a half a chance there. The Chinese pair really should have won that point. And it went long. So a healthy lead for the Korean pair at the interval. 11 points to six. fast playing conditions because they're defending champions here at the uh, World Tour Finals won the tournament last year and uh, that was played in uh, Thailand in a super windy stadium so uh, they can play in, uh, in all playing conditions I just feel that this match up here against the Koreans I would have favored the Koreans had it been uh, faster playing conditions, uh, but um, I feel the slower is going to help the Chinese, but um, let's see how it unfolds. Good play. That's one of the things that, that's going to um, be successful for the Koreans if they're going to reach the final here the flat game super fast on uh, his feet Kang Min Hyuk and uh, definitely a threat in the flat game combined with Seus uh, great eye for uh, the gaps and the uh, when to push and when to block when to reduce pace and when to induce it Deception, it's gone long. Challenging uh, Ushani on the front court whenever they can. Super physical, strong player. Ooh. 
but uh, mostly from the back court. Uh, he's dangerous. There's some possibilities uh, on the front court in terms of challenging him. Well, certainly taken full advantage of playing from the favoured end in this opening game up to now. Ken and Seo. Steep smashes. Uh, working well for the left hander there. And so, after only a quarter of an hour, a whole clutch of game points for the Koreans. Just needed the one. No, it stayed on oh, their I side. Beg your pardon. <laughs> Thought it had sneaked over. Probably will only deny the inevitable here, though. Pretty quick reactions by uh, the big man, Liu Chen. That definitely is the game. 21-13 in favour of uh, Kang and Seo. And it remains to be seen if playing from the favoured end after this uh, interview.
So let's see whether Luino can make as good use of that far end as their opponents did in the opening game. Great block on the third shot there from uh, Sue. That's a picture of Liu Chen just uh, consulting his coach, Chen Chi Chu. Not really uh, certain of what to do. Oi! Oi! He missed it. Well, what a chance. Yeah, but they're, they're playing really fast, the Koreans. That's pretty much what badminton's about, stealing time from your opponents. If you can do that consistently, then eventually it will translate to points. And you can do it by being fast on your feet, or strong with your racket, or anticipation ability. defense by Siu. It's the second time here in um, the second game that Liu Chen has had some uh, big opportunities at the net, but not been able to finish them off. And that's one of the things that the Chinese got to uh, find a solution to. One of the keys could be to block the first. That's a beauty. But it is just unrelenting pressure from the Koreans. Yeah. I mean, it was all that the Chinese pair could do to stay in that point for as long as they did. Yeah, they were over them from the goal. But but um, still positive, little positive things to, uh, to take along from a Chinese perspective that uh, they managed to extend the rally for so long because they were under heavy fire in the opening of that rally. So was that an unforced error or was it forced by the defense that we saw the Chinese present even though they lost the uh, previous rally? The latter. Yeah. But they are 
There's just no let-up, is it? Is it at the moment from a Chinese yeah. point of view? At, at the under moment. the caution every rally. At the moment, yeah. if the Koreans are continuing to be able to play this fast with this amount of shot quality, then uh, they're going to run all over the Chinese. First time we've had one of those in this session. Trish Gubb of New Zealand is the service judge. Have to serve from below 115 centimetres. Good at the moment, Su and uh, Kang. Just wonderful hands, just to find that kind of an angle. Chinese player weren't sure where he was going to go with this. Just a turn of the wrists. And there's a little bit of deception on that shot yeah, as well. Yeah. That, that's what makes it so uh, absolutely difficult. Yeah, they they were second guessing there, the Chinese player. Didn't get the right length on that high serve. Bye. See you over there. Oh, well, also, that was woefully unprecise. What a shot that was. We know how slow conditions are, but well, that is yeah, never coming back. That, that's amazing. Bye. Must have been too much if he'd intercepted that Nine. as well, Susan J. It's a difficult situation for the Chinese because it's hard to be confident the way the match have unfolded. Clever yeah. shot. Yeah. Good read. Eight, 
The shot from Oshonyi, that wasn't bad. That was a really, really good shot. Fast paced. Got it back with interest. However, yeah, it's a three point lead for the Koreans. Already a game up, remember. So Lewin now have to try and find a way here to stem the tide of winners coming from the other side of the net. Otherwise, this match is going to last that much longer. Oh. So efficient, that um, cross smash from uh, Kung. Fantastic play by uh, Kang Min Hyuk. This guy's drop shot doing the damage. Just a combination of power and subtlety proving just way too much for the Chinese at the moment. They've been absolutely magnificent, the world champions. The power of Wuxuni once again used against them. Him and uh, partner Liu Yuchen. Super fast reactions by Kang Min Hyuk. Oh. 
been nigh on faultless, hasn't it, from these yeah. periods? It really yeah. has. This has been an exhibition. There's a bit of confusion there between Kang and Sio. Just going forward. Wow, I, I'm impressed. Really, really impressed by uh, Kang and Sue. So here are eight match points after only 36 minutes. Covering the second semi final later. I'm not sure we'll see anything as impressive as that. Absolutely brilliant from Kang and Seo. In just 36 minutes, they have taken apart Lu Chen and Oh Shuan Yi, the Olympic silver medalists, remember, 21 13, 21 12. It was an absolute rout of a very, very take a short break coming up we've got the second women's doubles semi-final it should be a thriller an all chinese affair chen and jia best in the world against two women keen to take their crown at some point in the shape of lu and tan back in a moment <laughs> 